I'm going to show you all the weird ways that you can edit and add to your menu in Toast. They've kind of added a bunch of ways and they all do the same thing with a little bit different twists on a theme. So if you're like me and you've had Toast for a few years, you're used to going to the edit menu screen. Here you've got your menus and you go inside here and you've got your menu groups and then you can go inside a menu group and you've got your items. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. And then if you want to edit an item, you go into an item and you can change the specifics on an item itself. This is a fine way to do things. Uh, there's also this advanced properties section whereby you can actually toggle on and off things like visible to, description, calories, all these different things. I use this a lot personally if I am toggling on and off, say, an item that I don't want to be available for order online. I just have it in store. This is kind of, to me, the easiest, fastest way to do things of that nature. You can also drill into a product, and this will take you to that same product or that item page where you can change specific things in the item in this way. However, today they've added something else new. So we've got this new item page view where if you click this, it pops up the same information just in a cleaner format. I imagine this has to do with some of their new POS experience where they're making some changes to the visual components across the platform. And now we're updating the back end just like they've done on the front end. You have all the same information down here. It's organized a little bit easier. You have your pricing here. You can make changes, add things, change the POS button, the name, etc. What was non-obvious to me when I first clicked into here was like, okay, how the heck did I get there? Well, you get there from this other menu page. So let me take you back here. We've got the advanced properties. We've got the edit menus. And then this menu builder is their latest tool that I imagine they may just focus only on because it seems kind of dumb to have three different things in three different places doing kind of all the same thing. At any rate, this is how you do get to that new menu group and item page. If I'm down here in my beans and I go to my limited beans group and then I go into an item, here's that new item page. So again, you can do the same thing in all these areas. You can access them all by clicking the menu button over here on the left-hand side. And there's even an article that compares the menu tools over here on Toast Central. I don't know about you, but I find Toast Central to be a little bit, uh, it's just not uh, organized in a way where I can easily find and quickly find the solutions I'm getting at. That's why I'm making these videos for myself and for you. I will tell you that one thing the old school edit menu does well that the new one does not, and let me know if I just have overlooked this, but duplicating an item. Oftentimes we will need to simply duplicate a current coffee and change the name and description. In the edit menu group, all you have to do is click edit down here, and then over here there's a copy item key for any of these. You just click this and it copies that item, opens up, it it defaults to name it as a copied uh, with the same name, and you can just change that there. Over here in the new uh, menu layout, uh, this is the item level view, here is the menu group level view, and there does not appear to be a way. You can rearrange them just by clicking and dragging real easily, but there does not appear to be a simple way to copy one of these existing items. Perhaps an oversight, perhaps this is just not something that a lot of people do. I find it to be a pretty effective way, especially when we have sized-based pricing for our items to not make mistakes when we want to duplicate an item except for the name. I hope this is helpful. If it is, please click like, subscribe to the channel. Have a great one. Bye.